In this video, I'd like to show you how to get started with the Quantum Live Renko Charts Indicator. And to do this, I've just got a very simple chart here. This is Euro Dollar on five minute, but of course this could be any particular pair that you would like to apply the indicator to uh, use in your trading. Got it open in the navigator. We just scroll over, left click, hold and drag as always. We drag that onto the chart. And in the pop-up window, if we just go to the input section here for the indicator, what you'll see here in the second line is the mode. Now this is the default mode, which is actually what we call the ATR computed best box size. Now this is the mode where the indicator itself will automatically calculate the optimal brick size for that particular currency pair. And this is the default setting. And this basically will calculate it for you and it will set it to the optimal speed of the market so you are trading in harmony with that particular currency pair at that particular time in the market. Now, if we scroll down further on the input, you'll see down here it says enable custom chart. At the moment, this is set to false. If we double click on that and change it to true, what that means is we are going to create a custom chart which will look and feel exactly like any other chart and more importantly will allow you to add any indicator you choose either from the native indicators, the free indicators in the navigator on the left hand side or of course quantum indicators that you want to use in association with the Renko indicator. So I'm just going to click OK. And as you can see, we, this appears at the bottom of the screen. We're just going to pull that up to the top like that. And if you have done that before, just hover over, left click, and you'll get that little parallel bar will appear and just drag to resize the screen. Now what this also says at the top here, you see we've actually got an error message, which I've done deliberately. It says, please set the time frame to M1. With this indicator, there are no offline charts. This is slightly different to MT4. With the MT5 version, there are no offline charts. We've created this uh, in, using a unique approach. So to actually get the Renko working, all we need to do is just select M1. But I've deliberately done this to show you the error message. So if you apply this indicator to any other time frame than, a, than an M1 time frame, that error message will appear. Now you can also see in the box here, it's telling us that for this particular currency pair, the euro dollar, the computed box size that the systems come up with is 3.1. So our box size when it's created on our live chart will be 3.1 pips at present. And to open the Renko chart, we literally click on the button there, the green button. And that tells us, the message here tells us that we've opened our uh, live Renko chart. We'll just close that off. And what I've also got set up already is a template, which will just pretty this up a little bit, which I've called Renko down here. There we go. We're now running a live Renko chart. And you can see over on the right hand side that this looks very much the same as you would expect on a regular chart. We've gone to five, uh, five decimal points on the uh, spec for the, uh, for the range of the pip. And we are now running on a live Renko chart. Now, what that means is that we can apply any indicators that we choose. If we go over to the navigator, uh, let's say we want to, to apply a standard moving average. We just drag it over, left click, hold and drag onto the chart. And we've got a 10 uh, period moving average. There we go. Let's put another one on. Just drag another one over. There we go. Change that to maybe 20. There we are. Change the color. Let's go to uh, light blue aqua. There we are. So we've now got two simple moving averages on the Renko itself. And you can literally apply any other type of indicator that you wish. If, if you prefer to have oscillators or Bill Williams or fractals or whatever they may be, MACDs, anything you like, uh, you can apply them to this chart. Just close that down and we can also apply, of course, our quantum indicators. Let's put the trend monitor on this one. 
Just click the OK there. Let's add the price pivots. Let's drag that one on. There we go. Pop that one on. And finally, let's just add the trends because that works really well with this as well. There we go. And we've now got our indicators on the chart. So we're now running with a, a computed box size. The indicator has calculated that for us and is delivering that on the Renko chart with the uh, ATR value accordingly. And as you can see, we can apply any, any indicators we wish to the chart. Okay, now let's go back to our Euro dollar one minute chart again. And this time what we want to do is we've decided we want to run a prescribed uh, box size that we wish to choose ourselves. Exactly the same as before. We drag the indicator onto the chart. We go to our inputs. And instead of having the ATR computed best box size, we double click on that, a little drop down arrow appears and we select fixed box size. So we're now going to run this chart in a fixed box size that we choose ourselves. A little lower down, you can see here it says box size, and this is set to three. So let's suppose we want to change that to two. So we double click on the value, and we're just going to change that to two. And finally, once again, you can see we have the enable customer chart, we want to enable that because we want to add further indicators to our Renko. There we go, we double click on that and it changes in the value to true. So we click OK. There we are, we'll drag that up to the top of the screen so we've got full size. This time we get no error message because we're already running on the one minute chart, which is fine. We double click on there, there we go. Once again, we, we get this uh, message here, which I'll expand up for you. And all this is telling you is basically it is saying, please keep the charts period time frame set to one minute. That's really all it's saying. It's just confirming that for us. Let's just uh, load up our template again that we had before. We'll just click on that. There we are. That's our Renko uh, indicator, uh, Renko uh, format rather, the template. And once again, as before, we can add whatever indicators we like to this particular chart. So if we go back to our trends and we put a moving average on again, there we go, we've got our 20, let's put another one on. Go to 10, we'll go the other way this time. Let's put that on, we'll put the red on, there we go. That's our moving averages. And as before, we can add whatever quantum indicators we would like. Let's put the, uh, the ones we had on before. So we had the trend monitor and we've got the price pivots. And finally, let's just add the trends. There we go. So we're now running on a live chart. Let's drag that down. So we're maximizing that. There we go. Running on a live chart, we're on a prescribed two brick size and we've got all the indicators we choose and we can select any others that we wish as well. So there we go. That is the Quantum Live Renko Charts Indicator working on the MT5 platform. It's a fantastic indicator. It gives you that flexibility. You've got the ATR option, which will allow you to, uh, the indicator to select that for you on whatever pair you choose. And it will set it at the optimal speed for you as well. But if you prefer to have your own setting, you can do it here. Hope you've enjoyed this video. More to come. Thanks for watching and see you soon and bye for now.